Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to make a very beautiful and different crochet lace hat for you. For making this lace hat, we should start from the top and make two rounds at the beginning and after that continue our work in a spiral way in rows around that circle. And uh, make that circle bigger until reach the desired uh, diameter and after that start the body and when we reach the desired height, we should finish our work. Let's get started. For this hat, I want to use this yarn, Alize Shawl. This is the um, information of this yarn. And uh, number 2.5 millimeters hook. So, start the work. Make one slip knot and then make four chains one two three and four join with slip stitch to the first chain just made here to form a ring and now i should start the first round into this ring make one chain and eight single crochets into the ring Insert the hook into the ring and hide this tail through the work, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert the hook into the ring, pull up a loop, pull through two. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. And we should continue this work and make single crochets into the ring until have eight stitches in total at the end of this round. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Round one is finished. And now make one slip stitch into the first single crochet here. And start round two with one chain again. Now I should make two single crochets into these first three stitches. So Insert the hook into the first stitch here and make one single crochet. Again, go to the same stitch, pull up a loop and make one single crochet. After that, go to the next stitch here, make two single crochets, one and two. And then make two single crochets again into the next stitch, one and two. Then I should make two half double crochets into each of next three stitches. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three loops. Again, yarn over, go to the same stitch, pull up a loop and pull through three loops on the hook. Again, go to the next stitch, make one half double crochet and two half double crochet. For the last time, make two half double crochets into the next stitch. Uh, and now we have two stitches left at the end of this round and we should make two double crochets into each of them. One and two. Again, go to the last stitch and make two double crochets. And round two is finished, but we don't need to make slip stitch into the first stitch. And from now on, we should uh, continue our work in rows. Okay, so make one, two, three, four and five chains. And then make two double crochets around this last double crochet of round two. Yarn over, insert the hook before this double crochet and make one double crochet again yarn over go around the same stitch and make two double crochet now make two chains and join with slip stitch into the second single crochet of the second round skip the first single crochet make slip stitch into the second single crochet now make two chains and turn the work. Then I should make 
two double crochets into the first double crochet and one double crochet into the next double crochet. We have two double crochets and we should increase the number of stitches to three. One and two into the first and one into the second. One, two, three, four and five chains. And again, turn the work to right side. Now I should make one double crochet at top of each of these three double crochets. We don't need to uh, increase these double crochets anymore. And we should uh, make one double crochet at top of each of them. And again, we have three double crochets. Make two chains and join with slip stitch to the second single crochet again. After that, make two chains and turn the work again. Turn the work to wrong side. Now, again, we should make one double crochet at top of each double crochet of previous row. One, two, and three. Chain five, turn the work to right side, and again repeat previous row. Make one double crochet at top of each of three double crochets. Okay. Now make two chains and skip the next single crochet of round two and make one slip stitch into the fourth single crochet. After joining two times to the second stitch, we should skip the third stitch and join to the fourth stitch. Then make two chains, turn the work to wrong side and make one double crochet into each of these three double crochets. Chain five, turn the work to right side and make one double crochet into these three double crochets of previous row. Then make two chains and again join with slip stitch into the fourth single crochet. one and two chains turn the work one double crochet at top of each of these three double crochets of previous row chain five Turn the work to right side, repeat previous row, one double crochet into each double crochet, two and three. Now make two chains and skip the fifth single crochet of round two and join to sixth single crochet, okay? Uh, we should join two rounds of uh, this part to the same stitch of second round, okay? Join two times to the second stitch, then join two times to the fourth stitch, and after that, join two times to the sixth stitch and repeat that work. One and two chains, turn the work, make one double crochet into each of these three double crochets, One, two, three, four, and five. Turn the work. One double crochet into each of these three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two. 
and again join to same stitch the sixth stitch because we want to join two times to same stitch chain two turn the work and repeat previous row one double crochet two and three chain five turn the work to the right side one double crochet into each of these three stitches then chain two and skip next stitch of round two or the first half double crochet and join to second half double crochet okay we should continue this work after making one row of three double crochets make five chains turn the work and again make three double crochets then make two chains and skip one stitch of round two and join to the uh, next stitch of round two okay then again chain two turn the work and make three double crochets five chains and again turn the work three double crochets chain two uh, and join to same stitch okay we should join on uh, two times at top of each stitch and then skip the next stitch of round two and continue this work until here until uh, the end of round two I continued that work and joined two times to the second stitch of round two two times to the stitch number four two times to the stitch number six two times to the stitch number eight or the second half double crochet and two times to the stitch number ten or fourth half double crochet okay but uh, made one slip stitch into the uh, number 12 stitch of round two one time okay and uh, we should skip next four double crochets the last four double crochets of round two one two three and four and after uh, making this row of five chains and three half double crochets make two chains don't make slip stitch into the same half double crochet here skip these four double crochets and we should make slip stitch into this chain five space the first chain five space of uh, these rows so insert the hook into the third chain of five chains and make one slip stitch and now we increase the diameter of this circle from here to here okay now again we should continue that work make two chains turn the work one half uh, one double crochet into each of these three double crochets chain five turn the work one double crochet into these three double crochets chain two and again join to same chain five space into the third chain of that and now I want to mark this uh, chain five space at top of the first chain five space of uh, these rows so insert this stitch marker okay and continue with two chains turn the work and make one double crochet into each of these three double crochets one two three four and five turn the work one double crochet into each of these three double crochets chain two and after joining two times to the first chain five space go to the next chain five space and 
make one slip stitch into the third chain of that uh, and again make two chains turn the work and one double crochet into these three stitches chain five turn the work one double crochet into each of uh, three stitches of previous row chain two and again uh, join to same the chain of the second chain five space and continue that work we should increase uh, the diameter of this circle but joining two times to each chain five space at the end of each row and continue that work after two times joining to this uh, second chain five space uh, make four rows and two times join to the third uh, chain five space again make four rows and uh, join two times to the next chain five space and continue that work several times until reach here okay i continue those four rows and joining two times to same chain five space in a spiral way around uh, the initial circle uh, and now I want to measure the diameter of this circle that's six inches approximately and that's enough and from here we don't need to increase uh, this diameter okay so uh, from now on we should join one time to each chain five space okay uh, this is the first um, chain five space of the second uh, circle here and uh, I want to make one slip stitch into the third chain of uh, the last chain one space of the first uh, circle here then make two chains turn the work one double crochet two and three chain five and turn the work again one double crochet two and three chain two and then go to the next chain five space here not here remove this stitch marker and join to the third chain of these uh, five chains and continue the work make two chains turn the work three double crochets for this row one two and three one two three four and five chains turn the work again three double crochets chain two and then go to the next chain five space not this chain five space okay we should make slip stitch into each chain one space one time not two times and continue that work and when we uh, repeat this sequence uh, the diameter of uh, this circle uh, remains constant and uh, then when we fold this circle in half the height of the hat become uh, higher and we should continue that work and make uh, those uh, two rows not those four rows around this circle and again around the next circle and continue that work until the height of the hat reach the desired size okay uh, after repeating uh, the second circle four more times now I should finish my work so after make five chains decrease the first two double crochets together insert the hook into the first and pull up a loop then go to the second and pull a loop and now yarn over pull through these first three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through next two loops then make one double crochet into the next stitch and now I have two stitches in this row make two chains and go to the next chain one uh, chain five space 
slip stitch to the third chain of that make two chains turn the work and then decrease these two stitches together insert the hook into the first double crochet yarn over pull up a loop and pull a loop from the next double crochet yarn over pull through three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through two loops and now I have one double crochet only one two three four and five chains and turn the work and make one double crochet at top of this decrease double crochet then make one two and three chains and after that join to the third chain of next chain five space and now my work is finished fast enough and cut the yarn hide this tail cut the yarn and now you can see this beautiful lace hat at the end and our work is finished I hope this video will be useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video have a nice day